The fracture of pelvis are commonly found in falls, motor vehicle collisions, a vehicle hitting a pedestrian, or a direct crash injury. This includes any break of the sacrum, hip bones, namely ischium, pubis, and or ilium, or coccyx. They are divided into two types, stable and unstable. Unstable fractures are further divided into anterior-posterior compression, lateral compression, vertical shear, and combined mechanism fractures. This video illustrates the common classifications of pelvis fractures that are the tile classification and the Young and Burgess classification. The Young and Burgess classification is a modification of the earlier tile classification and is the recommended and most widely used classification system for pelvic ring fractures. It takes into account the mechanism of injury, that is, force type, severity, direction, as well as injury instability. The tile classification system is based on the integrity of the posterior sacroiliac complex. First, I'll speak in detail about Young and Burgess classification and simultaneously about the associated tile classification categories, namely the tile B and tile C. Later on, I will explain tile A classification, which is not included in the Young and Burgess classification, but, categor but categorized in the tile classification as type A. Let's go on to look at the Young Burgess classification. The first type of the Young and Burgess classification visualized here is the lateral compression. Here we can see the grade 1 which is stable. It has an oblique fracture of pubic rami, an ipsilateral anterior compression fracture of the sacral ala. This is the grade 2. It is rotationally unstable and vertically stable. Here you visualize a fracture of the pubic rami and posterior fracture with dislocation of the ipsilateral iliac vein, also crescent fracture. These both grades come under the tile B2, lateral compression injury, internal rotation, and B2-2, contralateral bucket handle injuries. Now we come to the grade 3 lateral compression of Young and Burgess classification. It is the same as type B3 of tile classification. This fracture includes both lateral compression fractures and anteroposterior fractures. The anteroposterior compression is contralateral to the lateral compression fracture. The anterior com posterior compression fracture is unilateral type B1. Now I am going to give some light on the anterior posterior compression. This is the grade 1 type. It is stable and the fracture has happened at the symphysis pubis. The pubic diastasis is less than 2.5 cm. You visualize here the grade 2. It is rotationally unstable and vertically stable. The pubic diastasis is more than 2.5 cm. Disruption and diastasis of the anterior part of the sacroiliac joint with intact posterior sacroiliac joint ligaments. The anterior posterior compression Young and Burgess classifications are included within the tile type B1 fractures, which are also called open book injuries. Open book pelvic injuries result 
from an anterior posterior compression injury to the pelvis and result in a combination of ligamentous rupture and or fractures to both the anterior and posterior arches. The grade 3. It equates to a complete hemipelvis separation but without vertical displacement. It's also unstable. Here you see the pubic diastasis is more than 2.5 cm. And visualize disruption diastasis of both anterior and posterior sacroiliac joint ligaments with dislocation. Now, going on to the third type of Young and Burgess classification, that is vertical shear. It's the most severe and unstable type with a high association of visceral injury. Its mechanism is high energy blunt trauma with significant axial loading, most commonly a fall or jump from a height with impact onto the lower extremities. Pelvic ring is disrupted with both anterior pelvis injury, pubic rami, and ipsilateral posterior pelvis injury, sacrum, SI joint, iliac wing. Ruptures the sacrotuberous and posterior sacroiliac ligaments which provide vertical stability to the pelvis. As a result, the lateral fragment, the fracture component containing the acetabulum, is displaced superiorly. Both grade 3 of the ACP and vertical shear can be named as C1 tile and these type C injuries are characterized by complete disruption of posterior sacroiliac complex and are both rationally and vertically unstable. These injuries are a result of a great force as said from a motor vehicle crash, fall, jump or severe compression. The tile C2 type fracture is a bilateral fracture in which one side tile type C is associated with the other side being one of the any three B types which are B1, B2 and B3. The tile classification system is based on the integrity of the posterior sacroiliac complex. Here, we visualize the type A. In type A injuries, the sacroiliac complex is intact. The pelvic ring has a stable fracture, posterior arch intact. And this is the avert avulsion injury. In type 2 of tile classification, the fracture happens in the iliac wing or anterior arch fracture due to a direct blow. In the type 3 of tile classification, the fracture is near the sacrococcygeal region or the sacrum region. 